again, but we just thank you for our coming to our church today. And uh, we just pray that you've enjoyed the ceremony today. And like I've enjoyed it, and I see all of the students up here and all of our boys. Yeah. And I stayed on them, encouraged them, helped them, made sure they got their college applications, their financial aid, scholarships, oh, scholarships. I mean, I just literally stayed on them. But praise God, you can see all of them up here today, and some of them are looking at me, and they know they didn't follow the rules and things, but we're going to get it better next year. But I just thank God I see all of them here. Thank you so much. I just wanted to let you know that she is loved. And I want her to know that she is loved. The ceremony, this is about the Kente cloth. The Kente cloth takes a journey through time. There's only one place that this cloth is made. That's in a small village in Africa. The looms are so sacredly kept that no one can duplicate this fact. This cloth belongs to us. It is ours. The cloth will always be here. Each kid they cloth tells a story. We have a lot of work that has to be passed down to the youth. These are your mentors. Everybody's looking for a mentor. Everybody wants to set up a mentor program. Everybody here is a mother or a father. If you have to have information, you have one of the strongest institutions in the United States, the church. You have your family. You have your friends. And I'm going to charge this community as a group to set up a mentor program. We shouldn't have to go look for a mentor. We should be able to open a book and say, this is who you need to talk to, to get your advice, your friend, your adult friend. And that should be done as a village. We're getting ready to present the Kente cloth to our children, the ones that we love. And we're going to start with the advisors. We're going to let the advisors, the advisors take care of this. We would like Ms. Baker and Emma, could you come up please? We encourage you to bloom right where you are planted. Grow tall, strong. Let the world may see that you are somebody. It is my happy privilege on behalf of the Inland Valley newspaper, the only African-American-owned newspaper between Los Angeles and San Bernardino, serving 70,000 people a week, a $1.6 billion market. We're happy to have our general manager, and there are certificates for all of the graduates. And when we come to your house, we want to see it in a frame, That's right. on the wall, not on the refrigerator. <laughs> So Ms. Joanne Washington, the general manager of the Ellen Valley Newspaper Group, will come and she will stand and help present the certificates from the newspaper. 